to prepare for installation of the boom, turn the ball valve to the off closed position. The yellow handles will be facing the floor when at the off position. Disconnect both valves using the quick disconnect couplings. To disconnect the hose, pull down on the bottom of the locking ring and pull the hoses upward. Attach the rubber caps connected to the end of the hose to minimize oil spillage. Next, pull the red lock bar outward away from the mast. As a safety precaution, you will not be able to remove the lock bar with the hoses connected. Remove the retainer pin located on the bottom front of the mast. Once this pin and both hydraulic valves are disconnected, you are now ready to install the boom. The boom is installed and removed using the stand. To install, carefully drive forward with both forks at maximum width. The rear of the boom should be centered between the mast rails. When the carriage and boom are aligned, lift the carriage off the stand until the retainer pin is accessible. Lock in the retainer pin. Without the retainer pin inserted, the stability of the boom is compromised and unsafe for use. Finally, push the red lock bar toward the mast into the aligned tube. Then connect the boom hoses, identified by the color IDs, to the corresponding colored valve, and open the valves. The boom has two lifting stages. The first stage can be lifted using hydraulic cylinders. To use the second stage, the following steps must be taken. First, remove the boom crowbar from the hoister on the carriage located on the right side of the truck. Next, lift the mast to a height that will enable the boom crowbar to fit into the locking slot on the left side of the boom. To lock the boom crowbar, twist a half turn until the boom crowbar is secure. To protect the floor, place a 4x4 block of wood directly underneath the boom crowbar. Lower the mast. As you lower, the inner section of the boom will begin to rise. Lower the mast until the locking holes and the inner and outer stage of the boom are aligned. Insert the upper boom locking pin to lock the inner and outer sections together. Lift the mast and disconnect the boom crowbar. At this point, the boom is ready to be used at its full height. In order to retract the second stage of the boom, lift the mast to a height that will enable the boom crowbar to fit into the locking slot on the left side of the boom. To lock the boom crowbar, twist a half turn until the boom crowbar is secure. Lower the mast until the boom crowbar is supporting the inner. Remove the upper boom locking pin. Lift the mast until the boom crowbar is off the ground and easily removed. Remove the boom crowbar and reinsert into the holster. To utilize the boom's horizontal extension, remove the locking pin. Use the hand crank to position the boom. When the desired position is reached, align the locking holes and reinsert the locking pin. The inner stage of the horizontal boom can be extended and retracted by hand. When removing the boom, the horizontal section of the boom should be fully extended. Carefully drive forward with forks at maximum width. The horizontal boom should align with the top of the stand. Once the locator pins on the stand are aligned with the square tubes on the bottom of the boom, begin to lower the mast until the pins are fully inserted into the tubes. Remove the retainer pin once the boom is fully supported by the stand. If the pin is removed too early, the boom may prematurely dismount from the carriage. Next, disconnect the hydraulic valves from the boom and turn the ball valves off. Pull the red lock bar outward away from the mast. The forklift may now be backed away from the boom in stand. To utilize the forklift after boom removal, reconnect the hydraulic valves through the quick connect couplings to the corresponding colors and turn on the ball valves.